the North American FJ-4 Fury was a significant advancement in the lineage of jet-powered naval fighters. As an improved variant of the earlier FJ series, the FJ-4 represented the culmination of design and performance enhancements that made it a formidable asset in the U.S. Navy's air fleet. This documentary will delve into the history, design, production, and technical specifications of the FJ-4 Fury, offering a detailed exploration of this crucial aircraft. 1. Design and Development by North American Aviation the North American FJ-4 Fury was designed and built by North American Aviation, a prominent American aerospace manufacturer known for producing iconic aircraft such as the P-51 Mustang and the B-25 Mitchell. The FJ-4 Fury was the final and most advanced version of the FJ series, which was initially developed from the successful F-86 Sabre, a land-based fighter. The FJ-4 was specifically designed to address the needs of the U.S. Navy, incorporating improvements in performance, range, and payload capacity that made it more suitable for carrier operations. The design was characterized by a strengthened airframe, larger fuel tanks, and more powerful engines, allowing it to perform effectively in the demanding environment of naval aviation. 2. Production Timeline and Duration the production of the North American FJ-4 Fury began in 1954 and continued until 1958. During this period, approximately 374 FJ-4s were built. The production run was relatively short but significant, as it provided the U.S. Navy with an improved and reliable jet fighter during the early Cold War era. The FJ-4's production followed earlier versions of the Fury, such as the FJ-2 and FJ-3, which were themselves adaptations of the F-86 Sabre. The FJ-4's enhancements made it the most capable and versatile of the Fury series, and it served as a bridge between earlier jets and the more advanced fighters that would follow. 3. First Flight, Testing and Improved Design The first flight of the North American FJ-4 Fury took place on October 28, 1954. This flight marked the successful culmination of a series of design improvements aimed at enhancing the aircraft's performance and operational capabilities. The first flight demonstrated the FJ-4's superior handling and performance characteristics, which were essential for carrier operations. The aircraft's increased fuel capacity, stronger airframe, and improved aerodynamics were all validated during these initial tests, paving the way for its entry into service with the U.S. Navy. 4. Purpose and Operational Role The North American FJ-4 Fury was originally designed as a carrier-based fighter bomber. Its primary mission was to provide air superiority and ground attack capabilities for the U.S. Navy, making it a versatile and multi-role aircraft. The FJ-4 was equipped to carry a variety of weapons, including bombs, rockets, and air-to-air -air missiles, allowing it to engage both aerial and ground targets effectively. Its design also emphasized endurance, with larger fuel tanks providing extended range for long-duration missions, which was a critical requirement for naval operations in the vast expanse of the Pacific and Atlantic theaters. 5. Country of Origin and Primary Operational Base The North American FJ-4 Fury was developed and produced in the United States. As a U.S. Navy aircraft, it was primarily based aboard American aircraft carriers, from which it conducted its operational missions. The FJ-4 saw service during the mid-1950s, a period of intense geopolitical tension during the Cold War. Its deployment aboard aircraft carriers allowed the U.S. Navy to project power and maintain a deterrent presence in key regions around the world. 6. International Production and Deployment The North American FJ-4 Fury was not produced or deployed outside the United States. Its development was focused on meeting the specific needs of the U.S. Navy, and there were no international production runs or foreign operators of the FJ-4. While earlier versions of the FJ series were considered for export, the FJ-4's advanced design and specialized role within the U.S. Navy meant that it remained an exclusively American aircraft. 7. Technical Specifications, Power, Speed, and Performance The North American FJ-4 Fury was powered by a Wright J65W16A turbojet engine, which produced 7,700 pounds of thrust. This engine provided the Fury with a top speed of 710 miles per hour, 1,140 kilometers per hour, at 35,000 feet, making it one of the faster naval fighters of its time. The FJ-4 Fury had a combat range of approximately 1,200 miles, thanks to its larger internal fuel capacity and optional external drop tanks. This extended range was a critical feature for carrier operations, where the ability to conduct long-range missions was essential. The aircraft had a service ceiling of 45,000 feet, allowing it to operate effectively at high altitudes, whether in air combat or reconnaissance roles. 
The Fury's climb rate was also impressive, with the ability to reach 30,000 feet in just over 7 minutes. The FJ-4 was armed with four 20mm cannons and could carry a variety of ordnance, including bombs, rockets, and air-to-air -air missiles. Its weapons load was tailored to its dual role as a fighter-bomber, providing flexibility in combat scenarios. The aircraft's overall length was 39 feet 1 inch, with a wingspan of 38 feet 6 inches. The FJ-4 had a maximum takeoff weight of 22,500 pounds, including fuel, weapons, and other equipment. The design also featured wing fences and an all-moving tailplane, which contributed to its improved handling and stability at various speeds. Despite its advancements, the FJ-4 Fury was eventually overshadowed by newer, more advanced jet fighters that entered service in the late 1950s and early 1960s. However, it remains a significant part of naval aviation history, representing a critical step in the evolution of carrier-based jet fighters. Conclusion The North American FJ-4 Fury stands as a testament to the rapid advancements in jet aircraft technology during the 1950s. Its design improvements over earlier models in the Fury series made it a more capable and versatile aircraft, well suited to the demanding environment of naval aviation. While its service life was relatively short, the FJ-4 Fury played an important role in maintaining the U.S. Navy's air superiority during a critical period in the Cold War.